All right, guys. So I did a conscious stream of writing, which is just me kind of going to a meditative place, perpensing on an idea. Here's going to be the writing right here. And I'm just going to read it to you. So as always, take it or leave it. Conscious writing, oppression, a feminine energy, and what I want. Oppress, a natural force of life. It is that which is found in nature and yet believe it to be less than. Why oppress it? If it is less, letting go of a loved one, I am. Why suppress slash oppress if it was, is weaker, then why force it down? For if it were weaker, it would naturally sink to the bottom. Yet it is nothing without the masculine, for the masculine is its opposite. Feminine, like masculine, cannot exist without its opposite. Why oppress feminine energy? Is it fear? Is it control? Ah, yes, control. What a masculine act to control or to feel as if you are in control. Would it not be stronger to show your desire to have no control? For would this not be true strength to know you will be okay without control? What is control? What motivated by? Fear? For we know fear is a weaker force than love. Yes, intention matters. Where is excitement in control? If you already know, then where is the mystery? Where are the miracles? Can one know nothing and survive? Is this not what all creatures do? From dogs to elephants to flowers and plants, they know nothing yet live. They even radiate more beauty than we can imagine if we were able to take a moment and release control. Do you really know what an elephant looks like or your dog or a flower? Are they not different every time you look at them? Why do you assume they are always the same? Is it your attempt to control their appearance? Is it to make it easier on yourself? Ah, yes, easier. Though it all changes moment to moment, it is easier to treat it all as if it's the same. The only constant in this world is change, yet we wish to control it even even with the life forms that we can barely communicate. How do you know dogs are not in control? They don't need money. They don't worry about bills. They don't worry about society. And yet, they are given this all by merely being. What a beautiful life. Again, who is in control? You or your dog? If you say you, well, I wouldn't argue. But now who is happier? Your dog? Ah, uh, the one who seeds control. The one whom follows their instinct. The one whom flows like water. The one whom flows with change. Do you still wish to be in control? Thank you.